Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Premium Aquatics. Luke here with the tank, and today we are going to be looking at swapping out one of my power heads. It's not going to be the Nero. I love the Nero. I can't part with it. I'm sorry. It is by far my favorite pump so far. I love it, but I want to test out another pump, so we're going to be getting away from uh, so we're going to take a pause on this Tunzi, the 6040. If you didn't see the video on it, go back down below, find the video for the 6040, check it out. Great, cool little pump. Uh, definitely a unique feature of how it works, but we're going to take that off and we're going to be putting a new one on. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead, jump right into it. Come on. All right, guys, so today, like I said, we are going to be swapping out a power head. I'm excited to try this new one out because it kind of mimics what the Nero looks like. And um, we just started carrying them recently, the brand. And again, I'm excited to try it out. So without further ado, bam. It is the Reef Breeders RPM or the Reef Power. And this pump. Uh, is very similar to what the Nero is. And I'll open it up here for you. Nice packaging, very colorful. QR code to scan to take a look at. So we have, bam, our power head. You can see why this is very similar to the Nero. Uh, very flat, uh, wider round with a flat shape. We have our magnet on the back. Very strong, be careful of that guy. And then also we have our controller. This is a little different than the Nero. Uh, we have our intensities, our modes, and buttons and dials to be able to control this via the, uh, this unit, as opposed to the Nero, where you do have that little control box, but overall, the way you're gonna do the Nero is by the app, as opposed to, uh, say, the control box with this. So we're gonna get this plugged up, and we'll get it on the tank, but first, just go over it, you know, a very nice unit. Very beautiful, very slender. It is uh, a little bit larger in diameter than what the Nero is, and I'd say a little thicker than what the Nero is. Not by much, but it does have a little bit more circumference on this. Not a big deal. Um, again, for me, I like the narrowness of this pump, and that's what I like for my setup. Super easy to clean. All we do is do a little twist, and this front cage comes off which gets us to our rotor and we take this off. Super easy to deal with cleaning, lots of uh, larger surface area, I guess you could say. So there's not super tiny teeth that you're cleaning in between. Uh, very simple to get in and out. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about that. The flow rate on this guy is up to 2,600 gallons per hour and max 30 watts. So uh, 2,600 gallons per hour. I believe the Nero 5 does 3,000. On the back for the magnet, we do have these little silicone uh, rubber gaskets to help with noise vibration, dampening of that. So that'll be nice to have. So really not much else to it. We'll go over the modes here in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and get this installed into the tank. We'll talk about the modes. We'll get this bad boy running. So I've got it connected and running. So I'm gonna bring in a little bit closer to see this controller, then we'll see uh, it on the system. Um, but let's talk about this controller first. So let's bring you in a little bit closer so we can talk about the patterns and just what this offers. This is the version two, which has a updated impeller, uh, a new controller. Let's bring in here, let's talk about the modes. Okay, so here is the controller as you can see. Right now I have it on 30% flow rate. I have to be really careful on this left side because that's where the Aragus snow is. And because I'm only working with a 12 inch tall tank, uh, a lot of flow can really mean a lot of devastation very quickly with my sand. But as you can see, uh, we can go from 30% all the way up to 100. So we're looking at right around 260 gallons per hour all the way up to 2600 gallons per hour. And then we have our little dials for our pulse control. So if we want a slow pulse, we can turn it to the right. If we want a fast pulse, we turn it to the left. And then we have our six modes that it allows here. M1 is going to be constant. M2 is actually pulse mode. So it's going to be pulsing faster or slower depending on the knob. M3 is going to be anti-sync pulse mode. And that's in reference to if you have a secondary pump while one is pushing, the other one is um, off, or while the other one is on, the first one is off. M4 is gonna be mixed reef mode, and that'll be alternating flow, uh, 
random where it goes from constant to pulse modes. M5 is going to be for SPS, uh, which is another more random mode and kind of kind of get an idea by this little graph it shows. It's going to be a little bit more erratic type of flow. And then M6 is going to be cleaning mode where it actually reverses the impeller to help clean the pump out. They recommend doing it for a max of 120 seconds just to kind of help clean that out. You can put it into night mode, um, you can put it in feed mode, and then we have this lead, follow, and solo. So this is technically the lead pump, which means if I were to get a secondary pump, third pump, fourth, fifth, there's tons that you can actually add on and you can make one the lead and the rest the follow pump is what they call it. So the rest will follow and sync with this or if you have it in anti-sync mode, anti-sync, but you can have one master and the rest will follow that and as soon as you make adjustments to your lead pump, it will wirelessly sync up with the remaining controllers for you. And then of course, for the feed, we just hit the feed here. We have a 10 minute timer and a 20 minute timer on that. And if we push down on this M6 like I just did, We'll go into the reverse cleaning mode, which it's doing right now, and you gotta be super careful about that because uh, obviously you've got all the flow going to the back and can create a big mess that way if you're not careful. And then to change our modes here, all we're gonna be doing is tapping on this left button that says mode slash night. So if I type, if I tap on this, I can change between every single mode here. And then the right button here is this LFS which is making it a follow pump, a solo pump, or a lead pump, which we can make our solo since it's just the only one. And then if I, again, I hold it, it is going to lock this controller in place. Now, no kids or anyone else can come and mess with your pump and do crazy stuff to it. So that's really it as far as that goes. To change our uh, flow rate, let's take it out of lock here real quick. To change the flow rate, all we're gonna do is hit the arrow down or arrow up and that'll adjust the flow speed. So really that's all there is to it. Super easy, simple to get done. Uh, if I change my mode to uh, pulse, we can do a fast pulse, and then uh, we can get a little wave action going on in the system. But that's it, super easy controller to set up and uh, change if you wanna make any adjustments to it. So that's pretty cool, and uh, I'll get this locked so uh, my kids don't mess with it, and uh, bam, there we go, awesome. All right guys, here it is, the pump running. Uh, really nice, sleek look to it. Like I said, very slim, which again, I love. Um, it is a little bit, It's prob it actually probably sticks out about the same as the Nero. Um, it's just a little bit wider in diameter. Um, beyond that, it's very, very similar. Very nice black look. That thing's gonna get covered up in core line very quickly, as you can see all this core line on this wall. Uh, it's been doing very well. Um, but this is at 30% right now. You can see the water movement is creating up here on the top of the water for me. Again, I'm gonna have to be super careful um, that I don't go too much higher because any higher, it's already moving this sand out. Um, a little bit, so I gotta be very careful that I don't go higher than 30% or this stuff is gonna just fly everywhere. Um, I love the Tropic Naragas snow, but because I have such a shallow tank, it's so easy to get that sand moving. Um, not a big deal for me, because I'll just keep this power head low, but uh, that's it, guys. Super easy, super simple. Go check it out, go check it out. I am excited to test this out and see how it does compared to the Nero for me uh, in the long run, and just see how it does. So, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great, happy, healthy weekend. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll see you in a few short weeks. Peace, guys.